You know, I started selling on Amazon almost six years ago. And when I first started selling, there was a lot, I mean, a lot less sellers than there are today. But one thing that I want you guys to understand is that there also were a lot less buyers. You see, five years ago, even three years ago, I personally did not, I hated shopping online. I, I, although I made my income full-time online, I hated shopping online. I just did not like it. It was just not a thing that I liked doing, right? And with that, um, you know, I, little by little, I started buying more things because now I obviously, you know, sold online and it was just kind of part of the thing, right? However, especially since COVID, I've been forced to shop online. And I know my wife always shopped online, but now we literally have a box that arrives to our doorstep almost every day, if not multiple times a day. Now I do probably about 50% of my shopping, more than like 60%. Well, it depends on what it is. If it's clothes, unless if I bought it before, I'll do it online. If, if I haven't bought it before, then I'll probably go down to the store because I want to try it. Um, well, actually, that's not true because I just bought many things online. So yeah, it's probably, I would say about 50, 60, maybe 60% 60 of my shopping happens online, right? Um, the other thing is, and it looks like in the next year, it'll probably more like be 75, 80%, you know? Uh, the only thing that we like to shop for and in, in, in store in person is groceries because, you know, we like to go to the grocery store, kind of look at, you know, we shop at Whole Foods. We like to look at what they have new and stuff like that. So although there are a lot more, sellers on Amazon today, there are a lot more buyers today. And one thing to understand, especially since COVID, people's shopping habits have completely changed. They have literally gone from, you know, in store, I want to go look at it, I want to touch it, I want to feel it to where now it's, it's, it's like, well, I have to do it, you know, because I want to be safe, especially if you're sick. Um, if you have been in contact with someone that's sick, it's like you're forced to do it, you know? If you are if you live in a state or a city or a country that is a little crazier than others where they have, you know, complete shutdowns or, you know, uh, uh, partial shutdowns or whatever, uh, you know, so, so it, you're kind of forced to, you know? And I always say everything happens for a reason. And sometimes, although you might think the thing that you have going for you is so great, and when it gets taken away from you, just do understand like why, it's simply because in order for you to discover this new thing, the old thing had to be taken away so that way you can discover this new thing. And it's kind of like online shopping. Well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are now like, holy shit, I've been missing out on this. You know, I could, I could took a look at one and two days later, something could show up literally uh, yesterday. My wife went on Costco.com and she shopped. And like two hours later, our, our groceries were, were delivered. Same day shipping. That's insane. I've never heard of that before. I didn't even know that thing existed. I know Whole Foods did it for a little bit, I think. Um, but just the fact that you can grow grocery shopping online. Otherwise, we would have had to change. We would, we would have needed to get in the car. We live in Florida. It rains all the time. Drove, you know, at least 15, 20 minutes. Park. Got down. Stood in line. Did all that. Got back. It would have probably taken us at least an hour. Where, like, two hours later, while we start sitting in our place, the uh, stuff arrived. And then now you have all these different apps where they do the same thing for you. You know, they'll go shopping for you, everything, liquor, they'll deliver liquor. I mean, you know, I just can't imagine all kinds of stuff that they're going to start delivering now. I don't even, just trying to imagine all this stuff. It's like, it's getting scary, right? But what I'm trying to tell you is that it's just a lot more convenient now for people to do it online than anywhere else in any other time. So although there are a lot more buyers today, but there are so many more I mean, a lot more sellers today, but there are so many more buyers today than it ever has been, whether if it's on Amazon or other places, but obviously Amazon with over 51% responsible for over 51% of all online shopping, it's in the front of all of it. So if you're not selling on Amazon right now, you're crazy. Uh, if you've been looking at the concept of selling on Amazon and you still haven't pulled the trigger, you're even crazier. Definitely need to check it out.